Hi, I'm Jenny Woodbury. And I'm Elizabeth Rosenthal. Here at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, we're always thinking about creative ways to communicate the importance and impact of complex topics like quantum science to our social media audience. Harnessing pop culture moments can be a wonderful way to do that, but relevant opportunities don't always present themselves. We want to be sure that the pop culture connection we're making actually ties into the real-life research happening at ORNL. While planning our social media strategy for World Quantum Day, a global celebration of quantum science, we found an avenue to share the real science behind the quantum phenomena seen in the newly released movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. And as luck would have it, one of ORNL's top quantum scientists, Nick Peters, just so happens to be a Marvel superfan. I worked with Elizabeth to refine the concept and questions for Nick, and then we followed him into ORNL's quantum realm, aka his laboratory. In the lab, we asked Nick a series of questions, and his answers compared and contrasted the quantum science in the films to quantum in the real world. The first reel we created was a spoiler-free version to discuss the Ant-Man series in general, and the second focused specifically on scenes from Quantumania. We decided to use reels with a teaser trailer aesthetic because short-form videos are currently very popular on social media platforms, especially Instagram. Because reels are limited to a minute and a half each, our primary challenge was to condense the complexities of quantum science. To this end, we filmed several takes to ensure that Nick's explanations were as concise as possible without sacrificing scientific accuracy. Additionally, we incorporated on-screen descriptions of especially esoteric terms to make the most of a short time frame. Although the videos were primarily intended for Instagram, we also decided to share them on other social channels to increase their reach. The videos and accompanying posts were well received, reaching close to 15,000 views and counting. In addition to seeing positive trends in our metrics, we were also pleased to hear that Nick had personally received positive feedback from his ORNL colleagues and peers in the broader quantum community. This isn't the first time we've asked our scientists to comment on popular films. In 2015, ORNL produced its first gram quantities of plutonium-238, an isotope NASA uses to power deep space missions. This news coincided with the release of the movie The Martian, where Matt Damon's character uses a radioelectric thermal generator, or RTG, to stay warm while he's stranded on the surface of Mars. RTGs contain plutonium-238, so we had two researchers analyze the scenario and discuss the real science behind the film. This video still ranks as one of our most popular on our YouTube channel, and we plan to continue making pop culture connections to share our science with the world.